I'm completely convinced that if I was willing to put up with bullshit from a man, I would not be single. Cat. Because of the stories that these women are telling me about the relationships that they're in, I, I'm mind blown. Like, why are you with this man again? What? what you <laughs> point where I have to like hold myself back from telling these women, just dump him. Just dump the guy. You don't got no kids, girl. What are you doing? And it's like, they want even bigger commitments from these men that are driving them nuts, that are making their life worse. I don't understand it. I, I don't I don't understand it. It's literally it's literally voodoo. It it's voodoo. It's insane. And I'm like, is this what I have to do to like get a man like put up with all this crap? Crap? Because it's literally crap. Like uh I'll be trying to date, but I don't know. It's just so ghetto out of here. You know what I don't understand? And I've never understood this. You have a group of people who are all failing in one aspect of their life. But they will never look at themselves and go damn are we like we're all failing the same like <laughs> birds of a feather are flocking together are we the problem no it's always it's always the outside world it's always everybody else's fault I, i'll never understand that because you said you're looking at your friends right you look at the people around you what about the people who aren't your friends what about the women that are married with kids happily married whatever the case is what about them they're clearly doing something or have done something that you aren't doing Maybe look at yourself in the mirror. I don't know what gives men the audacity to state what they expect of a woman they have never met, do not know, and has not necessarily even indicated that she cares about his opinion or wants to please him in any way. Except I do know what gives them the audacity. It's patriarchy. Patriarchy leads them to believe correctly that they are entitled to have whatever they want and to do whatever they want with no consequences. You do not exist for men's edification and amusement. Okay, patriarchy, nobody's trying to listen to that. Let's look at some of these standards, okay? Because I've read a couple. This is actually hilarious. Swipe left if you're a single mom, divorced, married, widowed. Oh, that is, that's our it. He said, if your husband had the misfortune of passing away, I don't give up. Don't swipe right. That's crazy, okay? Dominant, career woman, get them out of here. Crazy, drug addict, feminist, religious. He said, <laughs> he said, miss me with that Jesus stuff. That is crazy. I'm looking for a woman that can behave like Melina Trump. And can cook and clean and do all the house chores. <laughs> I've seen Melina Trump say like a couple words. So boring. Like, so, so boring. He's basically saying, I want a woman to be seen, not really heard. That's crazy, okay? Stan 44. I mean, this is his standards though. He has every right to have these standards. It's 2024. <laughs> Halloween. I don't care what you say. I'm wearing the freaking lingerie. I'm putting on a freaking tutu. I, I'm putting on freaking white bands. I don't care. I don't actually care because you know what? That's why I have inside me and that's who you freaking married. That's who you freaking said that you would freaking help when they're sick. And so what? Maybe I'm sick in the head by freaking wearing an angel costume, but whatever. This is what I'm getting for Halloween. <laughs> So if I was to just respond to this video by myself, people would have called me just some sort of misogynistic white man or whatever. So I brought my wife to respond to it. What do you think of the video? Big red flag. Why is it a big red flag? Because they are married and she's his. And, and it's, is it a bad thing for uh, someone who is married to show their body to other people? Yes. Why is it a bad thing? Because you promised to be only for them. What if I told you all the comments were on her side? I would be not shocked, but disappointed. Am I making you say this? Yes. God bless. Have a great day. I disagree. <laughs> I really do. I mean, look, it can be a red flag to me. It can be a red flag to you, but it can't be a red flag for him. You see, we have a saying back home. One cent can't change. Translation. You can't get change out of a cent. Translation, it is what it is. You married her. She said it. This is who you married. You knew who she was. Okay? And you married her. Why are you trying to change her now?
That's unfair. We've spoken about that is unfair. You don't get with someone and then try to change that person. No. You knew she liked to dress in a little slightly outfit. That's why she liked to go outside. Okay, you see it. That's what that's what you like. That's what attracted you to her. Now you want her to change? Huh? That don't make no sense. That's on you, my guy. Y'all are about to cancel me, but I really don't give a fuck. There's nothing empowering about sleeping with a random man, okay? Especially a man who can't even make you nut. <laughs> like, casually hooking up with people and getting into relationships that literally don't go anywhere is so toxic for women. And in society today, men love to push the narrative of, oh, it's so freeing, it's so empowering. Like, of course they're gonna say that and then shame you later on having so many bodies. How is it empowering to give yourself to a man who only sees you as an object? Literally all that hookup culture does is make you lack self-control. Like you're feeding into that lust. And like you have to realize it doesn't really benefit women at all. It benefits men literally the most. Because literally men are getting away with the relationship things without being in a relationship. Not only that, but being intimate with someone is such an emotional exchange and an energy exchange. Without even noticing, you guys are exchanging each other's traumas. Also, our bodies release a hormone that makes us attached to whoever we're sleeping with. And even if he means nothing to you, your body just released a hormone that makes you attached to him. The lack of accountability from these women, it will never... I will never be shocked. They will never catch me off guard. Now men must take responsibility for the sexual revolution. Now men must take accountability for women doing the naked marches. Now it's men's fault that women sleep around. We're pushing the narrative that is empowering. Not the feminists. No, 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 no. Because that's looking in the mirror. We don't do that. It's somehow the men's fault. What happened was women thought that being sexually liberated would benefit them. But they realize that it doesn't. It just gives more men more access to your body. And in your endeavors to try to become men, you've realized that you can't. Biologically, you cannot play the game like how men can. You can there are more men out there who have the mental capacity to sleep around and it not affect them than there are women. There are currently, my age anyway, more women who are sleeping around, but <laughs> that's going to come back to haunt them. There are more men out there with that ability to switch off something in their head. Like you said, you guys release hormones during sex that we don't. We release different hormones. But this, this is a men's fault. Let's not do that. All right, ladies, let's talk about why men do not court anymore. Let's go. The reality is that modern feminism in a lot of ways had us as women take a gamble and we lost. We took the bait that being sexually promiscuous and having no standards and no self-respect was cool and in. We decided that we would give men access to our bodies and our time and our energy without them having to put in any effort. We have allowed men to do the bare minimum for so long and we still give them benefits that they don't deserve. And so now men are following suit and we are confused as to why this is happening. It's okay to want a man to lead and support you, but you have to understand that we collectively as women set the tone. So if the tone of the dating market is that all women are easy now and that men can pretty much get whatever they want and do whatever they want, and still get access to us, then that's what the majority of men are going to do. There are plenty of men who are good men, men who love women and respect women and honor women. But even those men, if they are single and there are women out there that are throwing it at them, they're going to catch it. So just ask yourself, what kind of woman are you? And are you contributing to the problem? Are you the kind of woman who is allowing men to be low vibrational and contributing to this idea that all women have low standards and that men can do the bare minimum and get away with it? Or are you a woman who is leading by example and challenging other women around you to do the same by operating from a place of self-dignity, self-respect, values, standards, strong boundaries, a woman who knows her worth? Before we start whining and complaining about what they aren't doing, let's take a look at what it is that we are doing. This is something that we've spoken about numerous times on the channel. Women set the standard for men. Men set the standard for women. So if both the standards are on the floor, right? You hear women say, standards are on the floor. Men say, standards are on the floor. We're both at fault. All these women talking about how men aren't chivalrous, men aren't this, men aren't that. You're welcome. You did it. And for the men who are talking about how these women are doing OnlyFans and whatever the case is, 
You're welcome. You know why? Because these women will do OnlyFans and then in 10 years they'll get married because there's a man that's willing to tell them that their past doesn't matter and you're a queen. We did it to ourselves. Since I have some awesome guys on TikTok right now listening, I'm thinking, may I have your opinion, please? What is it with men these days and not wanting to date? Do you guys have a fear of commitment? Is it the woman these days? Does it have anything to do with spending money on women? Does it have anything to do with trust issues? Maybe dating apps? Maybe you feel like there are endless options in terms of significant others? There was a study called um, from the Pew Center Research conducted a study that said 63% of men under age 30 would rather stay home and watch porn than go on a date. Mm. Men say they are getting their needs met without having to go on a date. Would you? Would men rather stay single than be with a woman? Is the question. That's what they're saying, pretty much. 63% of men. I think they're cheap. Yeah, they just ain't got no money. They don't have money, which you should get your money up before you start dating. So it is cheaper to sit home and beat your meat right. than actually go out and find actual women to hang out with. Firstly, did the study say men would rather stay at home and watch porn than go out on dates? Or did it say that men would just rather stay at home? That they're getting their needs met without dating. That doesn't mean watching porn. Did it specifically say men would rather watch porn? I wouldn't be surprised if it did, but I'm just asking. Because I don't feel like it did. These women are exactly the reason why a lot of men are staying single. The first thing they went to is because they're broke. That's the first thing they went to. And she isn't totally wrong. Men between the ages of 18 and 30. Now, I'd say maybe 18 and 25, really and truly. They're not going to have a lot of money. It's when you hit that 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 plus. And that's when you start making real money. But damn. That's I, a I sad disagree. reality. I disagree. Why? What do you think? Is it what less of what a do you headache think? to have Here to we go. with a woman or something? There it goes. Like it's a headache. Now I gotta take you out. I gotta hear what you had to tell your whole day. I That's gotta... why you take out people you actually like, and then you don't feel that. Yeah, but then what? Well, I gotta get to know you first to like you, right? Yeah. So how do I get to know you? Talk. Call on the so phone. you rather hand? Yeah. Hey, listen. I'm married. Hey, you always gotta say. <laughs> okay, so if you, wasn't, these nigga if you wasn't married, <laughs> if you wasn't married, I'd probably be beating my meat at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's the process of dating it's the and you know a lot of us didn't grow up with our parents telling us to prioritize dating so people are going in blind people are going in not really knowing what they want not really knowing how to act so they have to continuously fail and for a lot of men what does that failing mean it means you're losing money in the process right that's one of the most annoying things for a lot of men you're losing money in that process because you've got to take them out on dates Right, sometimes two, three, four dates, and then it doesn't work out. You spent like three hundred pounds, and then there's a time that you waste. And for a lot of men, it's just demoralizing. So they would just rather not. And then when you take into consideration everything that men see online with all these standards that women are coming up with, and most men don't meet those standards, they're thinking, why, why even do this? <laughs> why even do this right now? You know, I talk to women in Canada all the time, and. They just, I mean, this this is from them, not me. They say they're just no good men in Canada. I find that very hard to believe. So they're, they're using apps where they can go and look in other places. I mean, I still think Bumble and Hinge, even if you're in Canada, is probably going to be the go-to. Um, but according to the woman I talked to today, there's just no good men in Canada. And I have had a lot of other women in my coaching program in Canada, and I know the struggle is real. But I hate to say there's no good men in Canada because that's not... I'm sure that's not true, you know? I think it's all relative. Do you know what the problem is right now? Men and women are too similar. If you actually asked women to be honest, right? Women have become more like men. That's something we all know. But if you actually ask women to be honest, their ideal partner is probably a stay-at-home mom. Let's be for real, right? With what women prioritize. The exact same thing as men. So... It's not working. The dynamic is just off, which is why everywhere feminism is, whether it's Canada, UK, America, Switzerland, Finland, wherever feminism is, men and women are doing this. No 
because I don't record you. Why do you have to do this Girl, shit? You have recorded me. I never did it again, so no, stop. No, I need I'm trying you. to leave. And I need you to stop. I'm, I'm trying to leave. Move. I need you to stop. Let me move. Then no. fucking stop and listen. No, watch out. I can't watch because out. I fucking love you and this is care. stupid as fuck. I, don't care. I, don't care. I do. Boy, stop. Move, bro. I'm begging you to stop, I'm please. You to move. I'm I can't. Leave. Yeah, you can. No, I can't because I'm like, I'm you I actually give a fuck about this shit. Let my hand go. No! Let my hand go. You're just gonna try to move, so no. I am gonna leave. No! Yes, I am. Why do you have to leave so fucking bad? I don't wanna do this no more. One night is not gonna fucking kill you. I want one night. It's not gonna fucking kill you. I want one night. Well, I need it. I don't care what you need. Well, I care when you needed it. I need to be away from you. I woke up this morning knowing that you were still gonna feel the same. And I sat out there and I still told you the truth. Okay. What, are you recording? Yeah. For what? Just just whenever the police come. If For I'm what? Not, whenever just packing my clothes and you're yelling at me. I'm yelling. Dude, because I actually care. Do you act like I'm just nothing. Oh, no. Like I'm I wasn't just... nothing to you. Damn it, how much other shit have we been through? We got past I... it. It's fucking lying. I told you that shit stopped today. And I told you the truth about everything. No, because this fucking sucks. Okay. It should it should have been that when you It's doing still what you were doing. that. It should have been it should have been that when you were doing what you were doing. It was still that, OJ. That's why I couldn't do anything else with anybody. Because I, I actually was flip-flopping and I knew where the fuck I was gonna end up. Just like my parents told me. We don't believe you, you always go back. Yeah, I do. Because it's you and I love you and I'm willing to go through anything to fucking get through it and make it. What the fuck else are you waiting on for me to do? I won't be talking to a nigga named OJ like that. I keep it 100. That's just me though. But look, this is something that I've never understood. When a cheater gets caught and they start breaking down like it's the end of the world for them. Can't understand it. Mentally, I don't know what that is. If the relationship meant that much to you, why would you cheat? But the way they be acting, it's like, oh my God, my whole world is about to end. And he was right to record, obviously, has to protect himself. But all these guys that we talking about, yeah, I like my woman to have a little bit of crazy in her. Okay. All right. So I want to know, do men like women anymore? Do y'all like us? Because... I just, I feel like men will put in time to like selling you this dream of who they are or who they want you to think they are. Put in the most work, allow you to be soft, allow you to let them in, let them into your space and kind of open up your idea of maybe them coming into your life, you know? And then just start acting like one wallad. So then, so then when they when they have you comfortable is when then shit starts to change and it genuinely feels like people don't care um, and like you enough these days to genuinely want to invest in you to want to get to know you to show up in the way that maybe you need to be showed up for you know and you're promising all of these things, you're saying all of these things, but your actions are just not delivering. Uh, how can you say that you like someone and you're interested in them and you want it to go somewhere, yeah? And then you haven't spoken to them for a week. You ain't checked in for a week. If they're sick, have you made sure that they're okay? Do they need anything? Do you know what I mean? Like, are you posting up with um, a little care package? Are you you know, doing things to show that you have thought about that person in the course of your day. And don't get me wrong, I know it's a two-way street. I know, like, there are things that maybe we don't do to help certain situations. But at the same time, like, come on, man. Like, if you have gone out of your way to disturb the peace of us females, the least you can do is come with some solid game and mean what you say do what you say 
and just be serious like why would you come and waste our time why and i genuinely believe there's this culture that adopts the narrative that there's plenty of fish in the sea there's some people out there there's some energies there's some people that you will experience in life that you'll never get a chance to replicate like you will never be able to replace that energy you'll never be able to replace the feeling that person gave you or the way that person showed up for you or just that person as they are their own individual so people really need to stop fumbling their bags stop fumbling and chatting shit and be about your word be about your action or don't date just don't date don't don't disturb people's peace I don't agree with the idea that there aren't plenty of fish in the sea because there definitely are plenty of fish in the sea. You know, that mindset kind of correlates with the mindset of the one. It doesn't exist. It's not a thing, right? If you go to China right now, there's a woman out there, probably can't speak a language, but she would be perfect for you. In the India, Poland, Switzerland, there are women out there. You get my point. When I speak to women in real life and I speak to them about commitment, right? And how to get commitment from men and how not to have your time wasted. The advice is so basic that the only thing is real. Like, this isn't real advice. This is just normal stuff. But you have to stick by it. If you stick by it, it will work. You let a man put you in a situation where you're in a situation shit, where he can just drag you along. There are a lot of men who will. If you want a relationship with a man, and if you say it, and he doesn't reciprocate it instantly, that's it. Done. As a woman, you have to set clear boundaries and you have to stand on them. And if I was a woman or I was advising women, I would set those boundaries real early. First, second date. Be very clear, concise with what you want and make sure you get clear energy back. No fumbling, no, uh, you know, yeah, I'm not really looking for that right now. Or yeah, I might be looking for it in the future. No, it needs to be clear. Because in reality, what's happening to a lot of these women is, these men aren't really interested in you in terms of relationship. They just want to sleep with you. So they just drag you along and drag you along and drag you along. And then you end up making a video like this. This liquor got me get my zone. Now I'm blowing up your phone. Blowing weed smoke in the ozone. Just can't let this go. This liquor got me in my zone. Now I'm blowing up your phone. Blowing weed smoke in the ozone.